Hey friends, today we're going to try Safe Lights Berlin Double XL. Double XXL. Double Double XL? SafeLight is one of the local labs here in Berlin, and they get 100 meter rolls of Kodak XX, which they then re roll in house, recycling all your old 35mm canisters, and then sell it under their own brand. Having Berlin in the name of the film, I figured I'd try to represent Berlin on my first time shooting it. Now, I've only been here for a few months, so sorry, Berliners, if I wildly misrepresent the city. First up, as Berlin had an incredibly snowy winter this year, I thought I'd just do a little walk around the block and capture some of that action. The next day I had to head to the lab, so I figured I'd grab some classic Berlin Metro on the way. This dude wasn't very happy and shouted at me, Wir sind Leute! from the other side of the station, so I was uh, pretty happy to get on the next train quite quickly. Someone commented in a previous video that I should check out the world-renowned Berlin nightclub scene, and during the time of COVID, what's sort of happening there and I figured that fit perfectly into the concept of this video so I went and had a little look. First up, Ficken 3000 or in English, Fuck 3000. This legendary sex club opened by a porn director is now being used as a Covid quick test centre so that's cool. Berheim is possibly the most famous and hardest to get into club in the world, so obviously couldn't leave that one out. Telling the difference between an underground club in Berlin and an abandoned building is not always an easy task. In fact, I had a much longer list, but I just couldn't find the entrance to half of them. So let's finish off with the rest of the roll. Various shots from my rides around the city. Enjoy.
Verdict time! I made it hard for myself, and for the film, by shooting in snowy conditions, which are notoriously annoying to meter in. From what I can tell, this film doesn't quite have the exposure latitude of other black and white stocks like HP5 or Tri-X, and definitely doesn't like being over or underexposed that much. So don't shoot in the snow. That said, this is a cinema grade film for cinema work, and those guys generally know what they're doing when it comes to lighting. It's an incredibly sharp film, and if you hit the exposure, it's beautiful. Really pleasing shades across the whole image with solid, rich blacks. At seven euros a roll from Safelight, it actually comes in cheaper than Tri-X and Delta, around the same as HP5 and similar films, so very reasonably priced and definitely something I'd like to try again in um, less difficult conditions, let's say. Hope you enjoyed that one. As always, all the photos are available on my blog linked down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a little thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Ciao!